cheap. That's what everyone's looking for these days, right? Well, I'm here to help with that. Hey everyone, it's Vanessa and welcome back to my channel. And you guys all love my annual top 10 cheapest all-inclusive videos, but I get a lot of questions wondering how I get the rates I'm quoting, what tips and tricks I use, many of you even ask if I can do your bookings, and while I'm not a travel agent, I can help you guys out with my best booking secrets that I've learned by trial and error over for many years. So stay tuned and let me help you get the best possible deal on that next vacation. So my first tip kind of goes against our usual way of thinking. We've all been trained to think bigger anything means more expensive, but that's not true when it comes to resorts, which is why I urge you to book big. As a general rule, the bigger the resort, i.e. more rooms, the better your rate will be because the all-inclusive property can compensate their rate in volume or number of guests. Now for some of you, this might be an obvious conclusion, but many guests tend to hesitate about booking bigger resorts, especially all-inclusives, because they assume the quality will suffer as a result of having so many guests. And while yes, that's true of some resorts, there are also some mega all-inclusives that give you some of the best quality of stay and value for your money of any resort. Places like the Hard Rock Punta Cana, which I've talked about many times, has almost 1,800 rooms, and they can keep the rate down based on volume while still giving you a good quality of stay. So don't dismiss those bigger all-inclusives. There are definitely some great ones out there that I'll continue to highlight for you guys that will give you the best bang for your buck. Now as travelers, we all tend to be guilty of focusing so much on the same handful of all-inclusive resorts that we forget to look for all those wonderful hidden gems. There's no question that in everything, especially travel, demand drives price. And when you have resorts that are talked about and pushed over and over, those are the same handful of all-inclusives that people are likely to book. If for no other reason, then that's all they know. And this is why I always say in my reviews and countdowns, Mm, I'm hesitant to share this hidden gem with you guys because I know that will drive up interest and eventually the price, but I end up telling you anyway. But resorts like Cobbler's Cove or Soco, both in Barbados, are just the best underrated kind of finds. And in the interest of building up a customer base, they will keep the prices down to attract more guests. And a bonus of these hidden gems is since they tend to be smaller and lesser known properties, you get much more personalized and attentive service from the staff, far better than what you'd normally expect for the average nightly rate. So again, I usually hesitate to mention specific hidden gem resorts as a customer myself, but of course I wanna help you guys out with finding those great hidden deals. So I will be doing a video on all my favorite underrated all-inclusive soon because there are some really wonderful finds out there that you should definitely check out. Another thing we all tend to do when booking is to look for those older, more established resorts. They tend to be more reliable, we can find tons and tons of reviews about them, so we know what we're getting into before we plunk down a bunch of cash. But they also tend to be pricier, which is why I urge you to book new. Booking new resorts, all-inclusive or otherwise, can be a bit of a gamble, but resorts tend to open to much lower and cheaper rates compared to the competition, especially locally, in order to lure in new guests. So, barring some initial glitches that the properties need to work out, you get a brand new property with everything in pristine condition, and these are usually some of the best vacation stays you can book for a very discounted rate before they inevitably start going up. I will give you a word of caution. Make sure not to book too early. 
So more specifically, these new properties tend to open up booking about three to six months before the grand opening, and I've seen many situations come up that almost always delay these dates. Everything from hurricanes to land disputes with the local government that weren't fully settled. So I'd suggest booking the first month or two after the grand opening, so you still get a low rate and can rest easy knowing that the resort is open and your plans won't be derailed. So the next couple of booking tips deal with calendar times. You hear experts and customers alike always talking about when is the best time to book, and I'm just going to share with you when you can find the best rates in my personal booking experience for the resorts that I review and love. And that's by booking September through the beginning of December. Now I've talked about these months being the best in many of my videos. But I honestly think many viewers are still unsure or confused about this because they tend to confuse it with ideal cruise booking months. I can't say this enough. Cruises and all-inclusives are very different animals, and this is one of the ways that they differ. Most cruises have great deals at the beginning of the year, January, February, even March, and then rates start to go up from there. The summer is very expensive for cruises, especially family cruises like Carnival and Royal Caribbean, which is peak season when kids are out of school and families travel. It's actually the opposite for resorts in Mexico and the Caribbean, especially the all-inclusives I review, because the priciest months of the year are in the winter months when everyone wants to escape the cold, and of course March and April during spring break. And then as demand goes down, you'll start to see rates begin to come down in the summer, as most of these resorts are adults only or not family friendly. But the best months of all will be in those fall months before the holidays, as travelers do not want to risk booking during peak hurricane season. And I won't repeat what I've said a million times on my channel about fall travel, other than buy travel insurance, it's a must. But this is when we usually do most of our traveling, and you can get some really great bargains. And as an added bonus, emptier resorts, they're much quieter. So if you're looking for the cheapest rates, book your trip during those months. So now that we've talked about what months of the year to book, the next big question you might be wondering, which is the main mistake that I see many travelers make, is how far in advance do I book? And in my experience, there's a booking sweet spot to get the best rate, and that's four to six months out. And again, very different from cruises, where travelers tend to book 18 to 24 months out because you can usually get a lower rate the earlier you book. Not so with all-inclusives. Booking extremely early, like a year out, is going to usually run you much higher rates, as is last-minute bookings as well. Your best bet is to book in that middle range. And the nice thing is, you won't have to wait forever for your vacation. In terms of international travel, this range means you can book that trip you're craving without having to wait too long to enjoy it. So picking up from my last booking tip, if you're looking to book in September or October, I'd plan to book in the spring, April or May, to get that best all-around deal. So the next thing I want to talk about has to do with the location of your resort and how that can save you quite a bit of money. And if you watch my videos, this won't be a surprise to you because almost all my reviews focus on the same locations. So my next booking tip is to book the three hot countries for all-inclusive resorts, which of course are Jamaica, the DR, and Mexico. Not only do these three countries have huge all-inclusive properties, but they have tons of resorts, the most in fact. And because these are such high traffic vacation destinations, what you lose in exclusivity, you can compensate for with great deals and bargains in your nightly rate. So these are the best countries to target for price comparison. There's always some kind of special or incentive going on, and that's why I focus my reviews in these countries. If you want to go cheap for an all-inclusive, or any resort for that matter, these are the best. 
So in a recent poll on my community tab, I found out that most of your hesitation in traveling currently has nothing to do with the pandemic and everything to do with the economy, which was very helpful and revealing. So I really hope this video can help you guys still get that dream vacation on the cheap. These are very stressful times we're living in, making the need to escape all the more important, and I hope I helped with that. This is Vanessa for Passport Pages. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you all very soon. Bye, everyone.